Good morning, children. Ready for today's class? Okay, good. Let's start. Children, today is Friday. Today is Friday. And today, we are revise. We will revise all pattern lines. We will revise again all patterns lines. Okay? See? This is standing line, slipping line, left slanting line, right slanting line, and left curve. Okay, children? So now, see this is left curve. Okay? So we will, again we will revise all pattern with some activities we will do some activities and we will revise all these patterns once again okay see here i have a paper and i have made all small boxes top on top of this paper okay i there is small boxes I have a paper and there is a small boxes. Okay, so today we will do our activity on this paper. So, start. Okay, children. First of all, I will take crayon. I will take crayons and trace all these pattern lines. Can you see? All this pattern line, standing line, slipping line, slanting line, right and left, and curve. Okay, so first I will trace all the pattern lines with different colors. Standing line. This is slipping line. Slanting line, left side slanting line, then I do raise right side slanting line. Left side curve. The children, you have to also do like this. You can trace all the patterns once more time. Okay? Look, I... Uh, I traced every line with the help of crayons. So, you can also do like this. Now kids, we will make all the lines one by one with the help of paint and paintbrush. Okay? So this time we will make patterns with the help of paint and paintbrush. See, first I will make standing line. Take a paint and I will make here the next box. I will make here. Standing line. 
standing fly standing fly then i'll make which line very good sleeping line then i will make a sleeping line sleeping line sleeping line sleeping line then slanting line left slanting line you can start here with corner slanting line left slanting line then right slanting line this time we will make we will start here from this corner okay and we will go here right slanting line right slanting line right slanting line and the last pattern is left side curve left side curve it's look like a c left side curve okay children in second line you have to make all these patterns with the help of paint you can use paint and paint brush okay and make all patterns line okay this time we will make all patterns line with the earbuds this time we will use earbud and again we will take paint okay and this time we will make again these all pattern lines without any dots okay there is no dots so we will make a standing line you know very well how to make standing line with the earbud standing line slipping line left slanting line right slanting line and curve left side okay so you can also do like this you can take your bird and paint and make a dot and make all these patterns okay so let's see another one now it's turn to make all lines with the help of we, we will I uh, use thread and glue okay we will use thread and glue and you have to paste thread in a standing line way slipping line slanting line and curve okay so first ask your mother to cut the thread into same small pieces and give it to you okay now you will paste them according the patterns 
see first I will paste take a glue and paste here thread in a standing line this is standing line oh, standing line now second line is slipping line slipping line standing line and slipping line now see children this is standing line slipping line left slanting line right slanting line and left curve okay so children in this uh, so children you have to do all these activities uh, and uh, revise all the patterns okay let's see another one now we will draw one more time and draw all the patterns lines okay and this time we will take slate and chalk so first I'll make standing line standing line slipping line slipping line slanting line left slanting line right slanting line right slanting line and left curve left side curve children you can also do the same thing okay when you write on the slate the better you you will make it very well okay children you can also make the lines together from the play-doh in this way you can use play-doh and make all the pattern works okay now see this you remember that you have to learn to make all the lines with the buttons and rajma and chana dal so then you can learn to make it again and again okay you will do this again and again and make all the lines <coughs> so children do all this activity again and again this will help you learn all the patterns very well okay now we will meet in next week on monday with new topic. Till then, bye-bye.